A baby girl in the U.S. state of Mississippi who was born with HIV appears to have been cured after very early treatment with standard HIV drugs. It's a potentially groundbreaking case that could offer insights into how to eradicate HIV infection in infants. Doctors put the infant on a cocktail of three HIV-fighting drugs instead of the normal one, and researchers believe the use of the more aggressive antiretroviral treatment when the child was just days old likely resulted in her cure. Live to our Durban studios, where Professor Abdul Karim, the director at the Centre of AIDS Program of Research in South Africa, is with us. Thanks very much for your time, Prof. Are you among the sceptics who needs to see the nitty gritties of this case before making a judgment on it, or do you think this could be a viable cure? Well, looking at the preliminary data, this is very exciting. I'm very impressed with the data that they've gathered, and in my mind, this represents a major scientific breakthrough. In the field of HIV, there are two holy grails. The first is our ability to vaccinate and create in a human being the possibility of preventing the acquisition of HIV. And the other is to develop a cure. This particular finding gives us for the first time a glimpse of how antiretrovirals may enable people to clear the virus and essentially lead to cure. Here in South Africa, in the case of a newborn whose mother hasn't taken ARVs, is the kind of cocktail reported on in this American case ever used? So the, the standard regimen that was used in this particular study comprised an AZT backbone. So it's quite a widely used combination of antiretrovirals. The, the difference is that normally when we're trying to prevent HIV in the baby, we use a standard of one or two drugs. If you're trying to treat a baby, which is not what we're trying to do very early in infection, then when you're trying to treat a baby, you use three drugs. And so they used these three drugs. And the key was that they used it very early after this baby was born. And that may be the clue that we've been looking for in terms of how is it we can prevent the body from creating a reservoir of HIV that leads to this lifetime infection. Are, are you keen to, to start clinical trials on something similar to this, Prof? Well, right now it's not uh, practical to be looking at clinical trials. What we need is confirmatory evidence. We're just seeing this in one child. Was there something unique about this child? Did this child have some genetic advantage, for example? All of those things need to be investigated. We need to look for other cases. We need to show that this can be replicated. Once we have that, the more compelling evidence and more secure evidence, we can then look at how was it possible that this happened and study it at a cellular level before we go on to clinical trials. And some scientists aren't surprised by this at all. They say there's some evidence that HIV can be potentially curable in infants. Now, if that's the case and the elements of a cure are there, why haven't we reached it sooner? Well, you know, it's one thing to say you believe in something. It's another thing to actually show it. And what we've had a major challenge with until recently is the technology to actually show that the virus does not really exist. And those ultra-sensitive assays are very new. So those assays were used in this particular child. And at 20 months of age, they found one virus in this child's blood. And to find one copy per, in one sample is you know, quite a rare uh, thing to be able to find. So it's this new technology that enables us to now discover whether there's really uh, children who've been cured. Uh, Prof, currently the accepted norm is that a patient remains on regular ARV treatment to, to maintain optimum health. Are you at all concerned that the broken treatment noted in this American case is going to maybe influence South African parents to take their kids off consistent treatment and just hope for the best as it happened with this American child? I hope not. I mean, the message should be very clear that currently we expect that when children are initiated on treatment that they continue their treatment. It is possible to look for uh, the virus in these children who are on treatment using assays that we currently have, but I would not advise anybody to stop uh, treatment. This is a very 
unusual set of circumstances where this child was treated very early and under very unusual conditions. So I would not imagine that this will be a regularly observed event. Professor Abdul Karim, thank you very much for your analysis.